What's up, everybody? How's it going? It's been a minute. We just picked up some fishies at the fish store. Uh, great pet store, by the way, in Milwaukee. And uh, we're heading to the shop in a little bit to put the fish in the tank. We're gonna go over, just to do a quick video on how to set the left head on a Weinig P700. I think that's a good video uh, to do because it's one of the manual things that you have to do on the P700. But we're at the shop. Oh, look at that. And some fishies added. Where are the big guys? There's one hiding back there. Wow. I didn't realize how big the existing fish had gotten compared to those little guys. Alright, so if you look in here, there's a few things. See this black fence? This fence on the left needs to be flush with this chip breaker. Alright, so what you're going to want to do, take your tool, put it on this black fence, and then you're trying to find the maximum depth of cut on the tool. That's even a little hard, but that's about the sound you want. While you're in here with your tool, like I was saying earlier, make sure that this, this black fence just hits the corner of the chip breaker. I don't know if that's coming in good. Let me back this up right here. See my tool right here? You want to make sure that this corner of the tool is just hitting the chip breaker. So whipping back around here, our tool is up here. Holding with your left, spin with your right. Obviously, I can't do that and hold the camera. And if you need to make an adjustment, pull this lever. This lever releases these two knobs. Your top knob is the fence that we were just touching with the tool. The bottom is the bed. So you really only have to adjust this, the bed, you know, per the profile. Obviously, general rule of thumb is to stay an eighth inch, at least an eighth away from the tool to the bed, the tool and the chip breaker, the tool and the fence. So, when I was spinning the knife and it was a little hard, you can just turn this knob and it's actually gonna, it's pushing the knife that way. Sorry, it's pushing the fence that way, away from the knife. So if we set the camera down, okay, now it's not hitting it, see that? So we got to bring it back in, or it's just hitting it, that's perfect. Where you can barely feel it with your left hand on the tool. If it's doing something like this, where it's That's way too much. Bring it back out. Still too much. Ooh, that's even, that's a beauty right there. 
almost just flicking it. And what that is is your max depth of cut. If I release this tool, which is burning, we're hitting right there, right on that flat. all the way down here. When you're measuring the tool, that would be your minimum radius. Lock back in. Perfect. Then, the only other thing you have to do So lock this back in, that locks your bed and that fence. If you have to as well, when I was saying at least an eighth, this is what I'm talking about. Let me try to get the zoom in here. Come on, focus up. From the knife to the fence is about an eighth of an inch. It's really hard to get a good angle on that. Don't forget, for training purposes, this is really nice. I suggest you guys do that. It just helps new people know which direction the tool is turning. So, over here, this is the chip breaker. You can release it. Oh my gosh, someone. That's way too tight. Whew. So, this handle up here has the chip breaker go this way. This handle with this knob brings it in and out. This knob in and out, releasing this, you can push the whole chip breaker with your hands. So again, you would say, hey, look, that's really far, I can stick my finger. No, this is a chip breaker. I'm trying to get the good zoom on this. Let's see. Okay. You're going, hey dude, look at that. That's way more than an eighth. No, hang on. Some focus. That's the real test. Pull it to maximum. And what that's simulating is Oh no, I have a board. I accidentally ripped heavy. It's gonna push in maximum of the chip breaker and it's still not gonna hit that tool. That's why you have to do that test. You have to pull that chip breaker all the way to maximum and make sure it's not gonna hit this tool. So that's in a good spot. Lock it down. Lock it down. And that's all you have to do for locking it down as far as like this one, it was over tightened. Just a little beep, beep. That's it. So one last thing I want to show you is when I was talking about releasing this, which then I can use this knob at the bottom to move the bed. It's just easier to show you with this over here. Essentially what you're doing So this is a different bed, but let's just say I was turning the knob. This whole bed plate is moving out. I don't know if I can really do it justice on video, but that's what these knobs are. Check. So it's moving in and out. So that is essentially what you do for that knife and for this knife with this knob. So that's just a quick overview on how to set up the left head 
on a Weinig P700 and that's really the biggest manual adjustment that you have to make on this machine. If you go up to a 1500, I'm told that's all automated, which is nice, but for our volume right now, it's not necessary and even some shops, you know, prefer to get two P700s instead of one 1500. It just depends on your demand and how many setups you're doing per day and uh, what profiles, changeovers you need to make on a daily basis. So I'm just nerding out here watching my fish tank. I turn the lights off to kind of calm them down a little bit. But got some exciting stuff coming this month of August. Uh, in two weeks is IWF in Atlanta, so we will be down there. We will be taking videos, interviewing salesmen. Uh, I always love doing that and getting the sales pitch for their machine and interviewing. So if you guys have any questions or any ideas uh, while at the trade show, uh, literally anyone in the industry will be there as far as lumber suppliers, machine sales, tooling sales, coolant sales, I, I don't know, those are just the things that are on my list. Material handling, robotics, ba 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 everything. So if there's any uh, cool things that you guys want to see, just send me a message and I'll make sure to hit up those booths while we're at the show. We'll see you soon.